Hey, 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 welcome y'all. This is Jess at Crazy Fun Creations and today we are going to be some spine chilling project. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't this guy so cute? So adorable, I just love him. So we definitely need to make sure that we can make this fun project. All right, let's get started. We're doing a little spine chilling. So let's get started. So let's open this bad boy up. We are gonna be doing a chalk project today and then maybe an ink project if we have time. So, did everyone see how this um, is? It's, you get to build your own bodies. Isn't that cute? I can't wait to build our own bodies. I'm gonna actually build two bodies. I'm gonna make a girl and a boy, I'm hoping. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these apart. first. So I'm going to cut the head apart, the body apart. I just love skeletons. Does anybody else like skeletons? And then the body. And they don't really tell you even how to put these together. So I saw these like two bones. One is big, one is small. Do you guys see that? I'm like, I'm like wondering, hmm, the leg bone is big, our arm bone's smaller. So I'm sure this will be very interesting putting this guy together. And then the left hand, a right hand, the feet, okay. And then these little bones. All right, and I'm gonna put the words aside because I will do that in just a minute. Maybe do it in the gray. I was gonna do it in white because like I thought white is so bone-like. Brandy wants me to do it in the gray. I think I'm gonna do it in the white though, Brandy, because I don't know, because that's the, that's the color I found. That's the color I got. So I was gonna put like a face here and kind of have to move that over maybe and then a body. And then, um, so the feet are down here. Oh, I might have to move that guy up. I'm totally gonna have to move that guy up so high. Maybe use this whole board just for these little guys. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I could have them like sitting down and do legs like this and this and then their foot. And like a yoga pose. Maybe their foot goes like that. So when you're sitting like, can you make them like sit cross-legged? Do you guys think? We might have to do that because otherwise I don't know, like do the feet go this way? We're totally gonna have to do that. We're gonna go this way and this way in the middle and then we're gonna make them be like cross-legged. So this foot goes up and then the other foot, I don't know. This could be a hot mess, friends, I don't know. But I wanna do a boy and a girl because I want to add little bows on them. Have you guys seen that? It's so cute, I've gotta do that. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a head here and a head here. Um, because, um, so this is the head. Because I'm doing two people and I don't want to wash in between, I'm going to do like the head and the head and the body and the body. And then I'll have to figure out arms and legs and all that stuff. So right away, these are silk screen transfers. There's an actual screen in this transfer, which when you put the paste on, if your paste is the right consistency, it goes through the silk screen transfer, stays on here. You're able to pick up the transfer and get a really sharp image. Small for arms, big for legs. That's probably what it is, Brandy. You're probably right. So I went ahead and I labeled the back, and you will see why, because we want to match these up when we, because you can reuse these 8 to 12 times, and you can reuse these so many times. So we want to make sure that um, we have the backers match. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do the head. So I got my fuzzing cloth on the tag side. That is the side that gets all the fuzzies. I'm going to go ahead and put it down on here a couple times. 
You really want to make sure you fuzz it up really well so that it doesn't stick to your project and so that um, you can protect your project a little bit. So I'm going to kind of cock the head. I'm going to put the head way up here. So I think we're going to use really this whole board for two little bodies. So there's that. Go ahead and push that down really, really well. Get my wa white chalk. I'm going to stir it up. Oh, and friends, I need a little water. A little bit of water here. Stir it, stir it, stir it. You want your consistency to be like Greek yogurt. So we're going to stir, stir, stir. So see that consistency? That's nice. You don't want it too thin because if it's too thin, it'll bleed in your project. If it's too thick, um, it will not go through the transfer. And since we're going to be using white a lot, I really want to make sure that I get this really, really good. So I'll let it set here for just a second. All right. That looks pretty good. I am going to get a squeegee just like this gonna dip just a little bit in there you don't need a lot this does not take a lot of product and I'm just gonna pull it straight down I'm gonna get any excess off of there so you put a little on then you pull it straight down or across it doesn't matter which direction you go as long as you take off the excess however that shall be Taking off all the excess there. Okay, good. All right, and then we're just going to pull this straight up. Boom. Oh, she. Is this. I don't know if one's going to be the guy, one's going to be the girl. We'll figure that out. But I'm going to do two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and put this head right here. And I'm going to take this with no paste on it just to help me get it down flat and straight. Not really straight because I want it cockeyed, but. Just down flat and not get it all over my fingers, I guess. You want to make sure there's no air bubbles. I have no paste on this right now. I'm just pulling it down because I want no air bubbles. Okay, and I just do the same exact thing. Put a little on, pull it straight down. There we go. It does not take much paste at all. By the way, this is the transfer of the day. So if you want this transfer, do hashtag transfer of the day and then put your email and I will invoice you as soon as we are done with this. Hashtag transfer of the day. Oh man, that looks so good. So I just put this back on the backer and then I go wash them when I'm all done. And I use the same backer so I can reuse these eight to 12 to 15 to 100 times, I don't know. You can use them a lot, a lot, a lot of times. So I want you guys to see how crisp those look. Can you guys see that? There's a little bit of a glare, isn't there? Sorry. They look so crisp and nice. I am gonna go ahead and dry them because I don't know if another transfer is accidentally gonna touch them and if it does, no big deal. But I definitely want to uh, make sure they're nice and dry. Also, if you guys, I just touched that of course and made a little boo-boo. It's okay, I'll put a little bit in there. Oh, wow, you can easily even cover your mistakes. Um, if you guys never want to miss a live that I'm on, hashtag live. Hashtag live. And I send you a message every time I go live. All right, so really it didn't take even that much drying. But I wanted to make sure the head I didn't mess up anymore. So next we're going to do the body. So I am going to get my marker and I'm going to do body. All right. So I'm going to clip off this corner. 
That's just so I can get it right. Pull this off. I'm gonna get my fuzzing towel out here. Go and make sure I can fuzz it. This is the body, 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 body. So I fuzz it a couple times. Just protecting my transfer when I do that. Okay, did that a couple times. All right, we're gonna do this body. And I don't think you like touch the head to the neck. I think there needs to be a little space, right? Oh well, if this one looks bad, I'll do the other one differently. I mean, I don't think you want them touching. Isn't there like a little bit of gap in there? Who knows? I'm not, I'm not like the best of on skeletons, but we're gonna go ahead and try. Today, today's the day. All right, so we got that down really good. No bubbles, put a little bit on, straight down. Straight, straight, straight down. Get on those bones. All right, let's get a little bit more on there. The consistency of my paste is perfect. Getting all of the um, excess off there and I'm gonna go ahead and lift. Oh yeah, that's perfect, right? That's pretty good. I'm gonna kinda I don't want the bodies to be exactly the same. I'm gonna tilt this one just a little bit. I don't want them anything to be exactly the same. Then this has no paste on it. I'm just pushing it down so I don't get my fingers dirty. I'm like the messiest crafter, really. I mean, it's not a big deal if you get your fingers dirty, but I'm trying, man. I'm trying to be a little cleaner here. So here we go, just pushing straight down. Straight, straight down. Up here and going straight down. Okay, and then I left a little in the middle I didn't do, so I'll do that real quick. Perfect, and remember if your chalk paste isn't the perfect consistency, if it's too thick, you just add a little bit of water and revive it. It is always revivable. Revivable, is that a word? Who knows? But right now, they just released an all, oh man, that looks so nice. Such crisp. Right now, they just released a new holiday catalog. I should probably do like a holiday launch and show everyone, huh? They don't actually give us the catalog, it's all online, just for the holiday launches. Um, they're, you know what I'm gonna do? I just thought of this. I I ordered, obviously I ordered a bunch. I am gonna do a Facebook Live with the haul. When I open the box, I will show you guys everything I got. And no judgment here, okay? I got a lot, I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. This stuff is crazy easy to do. Even if you are not a crafter, you do not even have to be a crafter. All you have to be is a want to do this, so. And I kind of got into this because it literally is such quick projects. I mean, I can jump on here and just bam, do it really quickly while kids are napping or, or whatever the case may be. So after I dry that, you do not have to have a drying tool. You can totally just use a blow dryer. That's totally, totally dry. So now I'm gonna do the body. No, this is not the body. These are like the pelvic bones. I'm gonna say pelvis. Can you tell I'm medical? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna clip a little bit of the edge. I just clipped the edge so that I know exactly how this goes on this backer that says pelvis, okay? OCD is kicking in. Yes, it is, my friend. Okie dokie. So this pelvis is going to go like that. I 
I'm getting nervous. I feel like this is the easy part and the arms and legs are gonna be like way not easy. Does anybody else have that feeling? Are you like, oh my gosh, what are you gonna do with those arms and legs? I have no idea. I have no idea. Does anybody have any ideas of what to do with the arms and legs? Seriously, no idea. Anybody wants this transfer? It's hashtag transfer of the day. I will invoice you as soon as this live is over. So cute. Okay, we're gonna pull this straight up. That's one good looking pelvis. I'm gonna do this one too. Should I do this one at an angle? Like we're gonna get crazy and I don't even know how this is gonna end up. You know what's so awesome is if this totally stinks, we can wash it off and do it again. And we, we will have learned so much, right? I just love little skeletons. I think they're so funny. Just put a little on, pull it straight down. So easy. Anybody wants to be a designer, hashtag designer, and I will get you the information about the kit. It's a whole new, brand new kit. So even if you have seen the kit before, hashtag designer gets you the new uh, information about the Christmas kit. And even one says um, something about have a farmhouse Christmas. It is so adorable. I just love that. I love all the farmhouse Christmas stuff. And you get 40% off if you're a designer. Not only do you get 40% off if you're a designer, you also get one um, coupon for 50% off your entire order. So you're, I mean, usually it's people's first order. You get it off your first order. Is that not exciting? Care Brett, heck yeah, I will send that to you, girl. It, you're going to be amazed. And the colors that come in the kit, ooh, it's just so awesome. Such a good idea. Okay, we're going to dry that pelvis on both sides. Feel free to share this video if you think there's somebody out there that would like to be watching with you. Feel free to share it. All right, friends, this is where I'm nervous. I do want to do the arms. I know how I want to do the arms. I do want to do the arms so whether like holding hands because I think that would be cute. I don't know. It feels like this bone is so big for the arm. Does anybody else see that? Does it look big to anyone else? Oh yeah, you can totally do it on glass. You know, I don't have a glass project, but I just did some on glass and on ceramic uh, for a floral shop, and I will get pictures up on, they're actually, you have to cure your stuff that goes, so the question was, can you do it on glass? Yes, you can do it on glass. You have to cure it in the oven, it's super easy. You can put glass in your oven, yes you can. You put it in your oven when your oven is completely cold, and then you turn it on to 350, 30 minutes, shut it off, pull it out, or no, let it cool in the oven completely, and then when you pull it out, it's totally hard. But you use ink, you use ink on that glass, you do not use chalk if you want it to stay there forever. If you just want it temporarily, you can totally use chalk. Um, yes, so we're gonna do a bone like that and a bone like that, because you have like two bones in your arms here. Yes, hello, anatomy class. Or I could have them hooking arms. That's totally what I'm gonna do. They're gonna be hooking arms. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one the little bone. Little bone, big bone. Wow, how original am I? Oof, duh. Okay, little bone. Oh, I'm so, I think that'll be a good idea. Do you guys like that? Give me some hearts if anybody likes that. Or if anybody has any ideas, I'm totally open. You guys know me. But you better hurry, because man, I'm doing it. We're gonna fuzz that transfer up. See how easy this is? The good thing about all these projects is you can totally erase them if they don't turn out awesome. Okay, so how do you hook your arm? You kind of like hold it out just a little bit. Hold it out just a little bit, I'm thinking. Oof. 
I'm gonna use my multi-purpose tool. This is a must have. It's for like little smaller pieces like this bone. And it like washes super easy. I just love it. I use it all the time. And they're not that expensive on Chalk Tour. It's like one of the, it's almost cheaper than if you bought a real squeegee. Okie dokie. So we're gonna pull this one up. Boom. I'm gonna dry it. Okay, I'm so nervous. I don't know if I should do the other arm or finish his arm first. I'm totally finishing this arm first. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. <laughs> Just put that transfer down. <laughs> so indecisive. Because I feel like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't screw it up. But, you know, if you do, you, you know how many projects I've washed off and done over? Not that I necessarily screwed them up, but I was just like, oh, that was not what I was imagining. So, you guys have seen me do that multiple times. Like, ooh, that did not work out. Wash it off. Try again. Because seriously, look how much product I barely use. I mean, you barely use any product on here. And I have this whole big jar of um, chalk paste. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do this arm. Oh, wish me luck here, friends. Okay, maybe I should have done like the girl in pink bones. You know, some of us girls are just pink to the bone. And then I should have done the, blue, the guy in like blue bones. Dun, 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 dun. Dry it. Okay, right now, what I'm doing is um, my silk screen kinda got a little glob on it. I can see from the last one, but we're still gonna use it. That's dry. Okie dokie. What am I gonna do with these outside arms? No one is giving me any uh, advice. Is anyone out there watching? Anybody know what we're gonna do with these arms? I thought about like, I don't know. See if I wanna wave. This one really I could like slant off and not even finish because she or he or she is so close to the edge. Ta-da! What do you think, friends? They look like they're holding hands or look like they're linked in arms. Oops. Or does it look like a mess of bones? I think once I get hands on there, it'll be better, right? And I'm just going to start to do this one. And then it's going to go off the board. So I don't have to worry about like what to do with this arm. Because I don't have a clue. Alright, I'm going to do the same. I'm totally cheating and doing the same with the other one. Shoulder bones connected to the... What bone? You guys heard that song? The neck bone is connected to the head bone. Honestly, can't remember how that goes. Ta-da! Sweet, okay, I gotta show you guys all this <coughs> before I do anything crazy with the legs. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash that when I'm done. Look at that. Does that look like they're holding arms? Obviously, I have to finish the hands, but does it look like they're linking arms or does it look like a mess of bones? Maybe I should've done one in gray. One in white. You want to put? A, should we put some hands on that, and then it won't look as bad? 
Okay, so is this a left hand or a right hand? I'm gonna say it's right. And then this is the left hand. All right, I just cut a little edge. Just so you know, nobody else cuts edges. I've watched a lot of designers and nobody else has OCD like I do apparently. So nobody else cuts the edges. If you don't want to, you by no means have to. So we're gonna fuzz it up. Okay, when this is a super good tip. When you guys are layering, oh thanks Kara, you love it? I'm glad somebody does. When you are layering, you want to make sure your second layer, you are fuzzing the heck out of that transfer. You wanna fuzz it up because when you pull it off, you do not want your chalk paste to come off. So here's a hand. And you just wanna push down lightly when you're layering. Can I get a little white on here? Okay. Ta-da! Okay, that was the right hand. Okay, and here comes the left hand. The right hand doesn't know what the left hand's doing. Okay, I wanna really fuzz that up, right? Fuzz it, fuzz it, fuzz it. Really wanna fuzz that up. Feel free, anybody that wants to share, feel free to hit that share button. If you want more information about how to be a designer, this is like the best month to be a designer because they just came out with an all new holiday transfers that are adorbs for Christmas. They came out with like these little tags. They are so adorable. Definitely gonna be doing some lives on there, on the tags. They came out with a cute little Santa, a counting down thing. They came out with cute stuff. Reindeer. When I get my haul, y'all, I'll do a Facebook Live and I will show you everything I got. With no judgment that I got a lot. Because it's so fun. Because in Chalk Couture, if you, um, sell so much stuff, not that you have to do this as a business, but if you sell so much, you get what's called designer dollars, and then you have so long to spend them. So I really needed to spend my designer dollars, so I got them spent all on the holiday stuff. So you get like a ton of free stuff. Um, you know, I could like make it look like he's kind of like dancing or running. I'm gonna make it look like he's dancing or running, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. I keep saying he and she, and I don't know which is which, but. We're gonna do one like this. So if you keep, you can use um, the same transfer over and over again on the same project as long as um, it doesn't dry in the silk screen because once it dries in the silk screen um you have to go wash it because uh your your chalk won't go through the silk screen he's gonna be a bit crazy i feel like i'm gonna make him kind of dancey runny He's not gonna stand straight and be boring. That is for sure. May not be great at building these lovely skeletons. Who thought it was that hard to build a skeleton? It's not. Ta-da! We gotta do a little drying effect. And the reason we have to do the drying is so that when you touch the transfer to it, to like this part, um, it doesn't pull up the ink. You do not have to have a heating tool. You can just totally use the blow dryer.
Woo! That good? All right. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I did not. I should be better at anatomy than this, right? <laughs> this guy's gonna be like break dancing or something. Just can't be scared to do it though, huh? Bam. And then I'm gonna like do, maybe I'll do a leg like this, like he's going, woo! Kicking up the heels. We're having some heel kicking up fun times today. Anybody who doesn't want to miss a live, hashtag live and you'll get a message every time I go live, hashtag live. Bam, woo, that was, this one's gonna get wild. Wild and crazy. Um, let's say like, I gotta go kind of right here on this one. Ooh, I should dry that, let me dry it first. Just in case I accidentally touch it. I don't want to touch it on accident. Okay, a little white. Oops. Okay, you just want to come straight down. Put a little on, go straight down or up or across, however you want to do it. Take off the excess. Then I just use this other end to kind of Now maybe she had to be like kicking it up, like kind of going, what? Should we do that? I better dry that. Maybe because I'm running out of room. These skeletons are getting crazy. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what they've been doing on Halloween, but they are getting crazy. Okay, one more leg, we gotta finish. See, she's like, oh, what? <laughs> you know what, I might get a cop out here if I, oops. Can't have any bubbles in your transfer, so when you lay them down, you gotta lay them down really flat. And then you just put a little product on. Remember, you can lift these up and keep using them for a few times until, as long as you kind of go a little quickly, so to make sure that um, that chalk base does not dry in there. Shazam, let's dry that, because I know I'm gonna touch it. Crazy cute, thanks Liz. Liz says, crazy cute. I have the volume down, because I'm peeking in while I get my hair done. You go, girl. Okie dokie. And then I was thinking about just like putting this one like here so I don't even have to do a foot. Or should I do it kind of like this? Looks like she's running. I don't know, this guy's so crazy, I might be running too. He is doing some break dance move or something. I 
I'm limited a little bit by this board being a little smaller than what I was expecting when I pulled it out today. All right, gonna go ahead and put this back on the backer board so I can wash this after I'm done. Ta-da! Where's my baby wipe, baby wipe, baby wipe? So I can wash my hands and not get the poop. Ooh, I got a little bit right there. All right, what do you guys think? I gotta still put feet on, I know. <laughs> they look kind of crazy or what? <laughs> Oh shoot. Okay, so now you guys gotta help me with feet. Like this foot, I don't even know. This could be, we're gonna say this is the right foot. I'm even gonna mark on the transfer RT for right. Um, you can write on these transfers too. Not a big deal. It does not um, degrade them in any way or cause any problems. That way, right, see that says right, and that says right, so I can get them back together. Hi, Patty, hey girl, how are ya? We are doing crazy uh, skeletons, it's getting crazy in here, mainly because they're like doing weird break dance things. So I think this right foot, it's gonna have to go like this, and then I can use it again there. And then I don't know what this chick's doing. She's going to go like this, I think. Okay. So, some people have two right feet. Two left feet. This skeleton has two right feet. I'm good, good. Good, 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 Patty. I'm doing good. I've been having sick kids, so like five days of fever. Strep is the worst. I'm gonna like be kind of even crazier on this guy and like kick his foot up so I don't touch the other skeleton. It might be looking like we're kicking it in the butt, but we don't really mean to. Put a little on, pull it straight down. Ta-da! And we'll do the same with this little foot. See, this foot is not even going to be all the way on here. Unless I like, yeah, I can't do that. I mean, it's getting crazy, but I don't know how crazy we can get. It's okay. His toe's just not going to be on there. Not a big deal. Who needs that last toe to walk or break dance? Whatever you guys are thinking, doing. Hashtag live. If you never want to miss a live, I do a little message. To everyone that wants it, hashtag live gets you there. Then I think you have to follow a little bit of directions, but hashtag live starts it. Okay, I need to dry it. Oh, you're crocheting. What are you crocheting, Patty? I used to crochet. I loved it. But then I came up with this obsession and I just can't stop. So we got a left foot, and then the left foot's going to be like that, I don't know how. Fuzz it up. Remember when you're um, putting transfers on chalk you've already put down, you want to make sure that you like really fuzz the heck out of it. Oh, Patty, you're making pot holders. How fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, I'm going to kind of stretch his foot out. Because this boy is going to be running from this this crazy one. Ta da! Oh, better. I like using the end of the multi purpose tool just to help pick up the edge of the transfer. That way I don't ruin it or anything like that. OMG, is this not funny? What do you guys think? Would you keep that? Would you buy that? Or would you remake it? Looks like they're dancing like crazy, huh? So what I'm going to do to kind of finish this piece off is I am going to do, which one do you guys think should be the boy and the girl? I'm going to put a bow tie on one of them and a hair bow in the other one. 
So what do you guys think? Do you think um, this, let's call this number one. Do you think that should, number one should be the boy or the girl? So this is number one. Tell me if you think boy or girl on that one. I'll show you what I mean. Tell me if number one should be a boy or a girl. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Maybe. If I can get a boat tied. Uh, what do you guys think? That one, a boy or a girl? Do you think it should be two girls, not a boy and a girl? Oh my gosh, why can I not tie a bow? <laughs> the struggle is real today, friends. <laughs> Can't even get the ribbon tied in a bow. You think two girls, huh? That's about the same size. So do you guys think this needs to be... And it doesn't have to be this exact ribbon. I have some more ribbon. But this could be a bow tie or a bow in the hair. So this one needs to be the boy. The crazy kick dancer needs to be the boy. Is that what you think? So we're gonna do maybe that one, a bow tie. Or you know what, I kinda like that one for like a hair tie for the girl. And then I'm gonna make a little bow tie out of this. This one. Or maybe if it's a horrible bow, they will both be girls. Like what Brandy says, who knows? But because I guess girls link arms and dance. I don't know. Do girls link arms and dance? This day and age, I don't know if I want to ask that question. Man, the struggle is so real to even tie a bow today. Like a little bow tie right there. What do you guys think? I have to get my hot glue gun out. I didn't grab it. So I will have to show you guys later. Is that what you think? Nobody is commenting. What do you guys think? Boy. Bow tie, girl hair. What do you think? Yay? Nay? Okay, I'm gonna have to just fix that up and I will show you guys on my Facebook page. Make sure you like my Facebook page so you guys can come back and see what I decided to do with that. I have to get out my hot glue gun and, and hot glue it. So, if you guys wanna do another surprise, I have more projects, don't worry. Um, we are going to, this was one thing that was, um, new where some of these retired transfers were coming back in. Where'd the other one go? I'm losing it. Oh, there we go. Whew, these two, but obviously I've used mine a lot, but aren't these little boards cute? So we're going to do a little farmhouse theme on them. We're going to do the wicked chicken. 
And we're gonna to do the crazy heifers. Or the kitchen clothes heifer thing. So, let me go ahead. What colors do you guys wanna use on this? What colors should we use? We are gonna do this one, then that one. So, first thing we're gonna do, I've used these a lot. So, we're gonna take off the backing. We're gonna fuzz it up. Gonna put it on here. Somewhat straight. Ta-da. I'm gonna do a red chicken, red deviled eggs, black, wicked, lay chickens. I'm gonna use my multi-purpose tool. I'm gonna do the black first. I just used these, so we just went to a party, so I know that they are the perfect consistency. Whoa, I almost dipped it in red. <laughs> that could have been bad. Black and red do not mix in color as well. All right, so I got a little too much black, so you just pull off the excess. Pull it off, pull it off, all the way off. You got your baby wipe if you need it. Move that out of the way, gonna clean this off. Gonna do red. Chicken is red. Do the feet. And when you're working with chalk, you have to go a little bit faster. You don't want it to dry through the silk screen. But we are working plenty fast. You can tell things dry because it goes from like um, real shiny to dull. And when it's dull, then you're like, ooh, that's dried. And it's a little bit more troubling. I got a lot up here though, so this just does not take much product at all. Okay, and it's pulling the rest of it off. Ta-da. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. Comes straight up. Perfect. If you guys like this transfer, this is a retired transfer. Here's the kicker. Chalk Couture just brought back five transfers. That's one of the five transfers. So at the top of my page, you'll see where to shop. These will not be around very long at all. If you want this transfer, you gotta get on it. They will be gone probably by the end of the week, I'm guessing. I can't believe they haven't sold out quite yet. So if you guys are wanting this Wicked Chickens or the Kitchen's Closed, this heifer's had it, make sure you get on there and order it. I don't know if they'll ever bring them back and they only have limited quantities. Isn't that cute? That turned out so cute. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Just a nice little kitchen decoration, right? So you can do this chalk tour on wood. Obviously we're doing wood. You can do the ink on the fabric. You can do it on metal surfaces, chalkboards, anything you want. Yeah, if you guys want to share this with a friend, hit share. If you guys want to always know when my lives are, hashtag live. This is so crazy. Yeah, I'm going to set this one right here. Isn't that fun? This is so crazy. So Chalk Couture actually um, 
Let's see, when was that? Like a month ago, came out and said, you know what, we're going to see, we're going to bring back five old transfers and this, the chicken and the cow come together. And it sold out in less than an hour. I think it was like less than 20 minutes. The whole website kind of crashed and it was kind of a hot mess. But um, this time that they launched it, it went perfectly. It went so smooth. I just don't think they realized how much people wanted these transfers. So, but this is seriously one of my most popular. I've made this on dish towels that have sold. I've made this on um, wood, metal, and these exact same transfers. So that you can use it eight to 12 times on a million different surfaces. So. Where did my, okay, here we go. I am gonna do this on closed. And it's okay, you can obviously tell this um, screen has, or this transfer has been stained, and it's okay if they stain, it's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt it, as long as you clear out where the silk screen is, because that's actually where the ink and that chalk goes through. So it doesn't matter that the silk screen gets, um, stained it just matters that you get it cleaned off because obviously these inks the inks are permanent and so even if you wash them right away just a little bit of residue i think always still the color just kind of stays on there not a big deal they may not look like brand brand new but they still work just like brand new so that's what's so cool about them this is one of my oldest transfers so And one of my most used. I mean, I, I am a hot mess. I cannot believe they actually brought it back. I was so excited. I was like looking on eBay for it, which it was going for like hundreds of dollars, which is ridiculous. So it was so nice of Chalk. I think Chalk Tour saw that and thought that's crazy. Let's just make some more for these poor people. So they did, which was super nice of them. So the black lids are the chalk and the white lids are the ink, which is why you see me still using black lids. Because obviously our ink project did not want to work. That was kind of silly of me to do that. So, oh my gosh, I did dip that just a little bit in teal. Not a big deal. See, it didn't even come out in the teal box. Or the teal. Okay, we're doing kitchen. And the heifer. Had it. Okie dokie, gonna pull that up. Oh yeah, perfect like always. Perfect like always. As soon as you're done with your paste, you do wanna stick the lids back on so that um, they don't dry out. If they dry out, it's not a big deal, right? We can always add water. There we go. I will post pictures of all of these finished products um, probably a little bit later today on my Facebook page. So be watching for the finished ones. But look at how cute that is. Would that not make like a perfect little gift? I mean, to anyone, anyone that has a new house and those teal colors. I love it. Love it, love it. I'm just going to dry it. Just like that, you can tell it went from shiny to dull. So anybody that is interested in becoming a designer, make sure you do hashtag designer. You get 40% off of all your products and you get a one-time um, 
coupon for 50% off your entire order. That's huge. You get over $240. I know they added a bunch more to this new um, holiday kit. You get over $240, $240 for only $99. So if anybody's interested in that, hashtag designer. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a good rest of your